Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gazda here. This is Earth Science Regents Review. The unit is weather. Before we get started, I do want to say this about weather. In all my years of teaching, this was usually the most challenging topic for students and the hardest one for them. So if you find it difficult or you feel that you don't get it, realize that you're in a boat with a lot of other people. It's not that uncommon. And what I'm going to do here, if you really pay attention and learn from it, should really help that. Okay, so here we go. First thing I want to say, or second thing I want to say, is there's a lot of reference table parts to weather, which can be good if you know how to use them, and we'll, we'll go over that today. So for instance, this right here is page 12 of the reference table. These two charts, we'll be using that. Okay, page 13 here is all on the reference table, and page 14, two thirds of it is on the reference table. Okay, so first we're gonna start with weather instruments. Okay, this here has the cups, it spins around. What's its name and what? Weather variable doesn't measure, it's called an anemometer and it measures wind speed, know it. Next up, we have this. I'm gonna leave it out thermometer. I think most people know a regular thermometer measures air temperature, but you need to know that as well. This uh, involves thermometer here, it's a, just a regular thermometer. This thermometer has a wet uh, wick on it or a wet bulb on it. Um, what's the name of it and what does it measure? It's called a psychrometer and measures how much water vapor is in the air. And I have another one here. This is a, 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 also a psychrometer, it's called a sling psychrometer. You kind of spin it around to help the evaporation happen faster. You may have seen one of these in class. I know I use one in class, but uh, it also looks like this. It, it, anytime you see a wet bulb and a dry bulb, that's a psychrometer. Uh, this right here, you have to look kind of closely, recognize the units. These are MB, hopefully you recognize that's millibars. This is inches, meaning inches of mercury. Okay, this is a barometer and it measures atmospheric pressure also called barometric pressure. Okay, that is um, a very important feature and variable in weather. It drives so much weather is barometric pressure. Let's look at that now. 